What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist. Today we have a quick one here as we talk about the brand new rules for DACA weapons. So DACA weapons unleash a terrifying volume of shots, whether these are effective or not, depends on the proximity of the target. So the closer you are, the more shots you will be getting with these DACA weapons. Um, not every orc ranged weapon is a DACA weapon, but a ton of them are. And basically what this means is that the DACA weapon has two values. Uh, the first one is if you're shooting it at normal range, and if you're within half the weapon's range, then you take the second value instead. So for example, Gazkul's weapon, Mork's Roar, has a DACA of 16 slash 12. So you're gonna be firing 12 shots at 36, or if you're at 18 range, then you have 16 shots. Strength five, AP one, one damage. So that is a ton of DACA coming your way. And this gets even crazier when you look at the Gorkonauts <laughs> weapon. The Deathstorm Mega Shooter goes from 30 to 20. So 30 strength 6 shots with an 18 range is going to be devastating. If you do have a Gorkonaut, that is. But even from the biggest Gorkonauts to the smallest Orc Boy, the Shooter and the Big Shooter has also gotten this upgrade, with the shooter being DACA 3-2 and the big shooter going from DACA 5-3. So all in all, a huge upgrade to the orcs, basically making them more killy up close and personal to get that charge in, to get those walls out, and just to do more damage. Um, besides giving things DACA, a ton of older weapons also got impugned Impubed, <laughs> improved, such as the rocket launcher, going from assault one to heavy D3 blast. That's really good. The rocket cannon uh, goes to also having this blast ability, and it went from assault to heavy. Now, the thing that changed dram dramatically, dramatically, that's not a word, is the Bubba Chucka. This crazy, weird grot contraption is... I don't even know. It's a relic from the past, to put it simply. Before, it was simply a 48 range, heavy D6, strength D6, AP D6, damage D6 weapon. So it's very similar to that of like the obliterators for the Chaos Space Marines. But the new and improved Bubba Chukka is really interesting. So basically, this is what you do if you have the Bubba Chukka. You select targets, and then you roll a d3 to determine which of the profiles below you're going to be attacking with. Now if a unit contains more than one bubble chukka, and it's targeting the same unit, you determine the profiles for each weapon separately before you start rolling attacks against that unit. Now if you roll a d3 and you get a 1, you get the big bubble. It is a 48 inch heavy 3 d3 blast weapon with a strength of 6, AP of minus 2, 1 damage. Say you roll a 2 for your D3 result, you got the Wobbly Bubble. Great names, by the way. Same thing, 48 inch blast weapon. This one's heavy D6, strength 8, AP minus 3, 3 damage. And then you get the Dense Bubble. 48 inch range, heavy 1, strength 10, AP minus 4, and the damage is D3 plus 3. So, the Bubble Chukka is... <laughs> <laughs> insanely crazy good now um, it can do a ton of damage six at moats with strength 10 so yeah the orcs have come to deal damage this edition so that's all i got for today just a quick one giving you a quick overview for what the new weapons the new daca rule for the orcs are and um with every little snippet of new lore new rules for the orcs that we get they just keep getting better and better so with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next one. This has been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll catch you then. Peace.